And welcome to week two of Tate's Wellbeing Campaign. My name's Matt, I work for Tate in China's Ford. Uh, so this week we're going to be focusing on all the different tips that we can give you to help you get through your day, stay energised and how to eat healthily. And there'll be some exercises towards the end of the video as well. So the first tip we're going to give you is all about not pairing protein with carbs. So a lot of people make the mistake of pairing protein and carbs, and by carbs I mean pastas and breads. So you can pair them with cleaner carbs such as vegetables or salads. So if you swap your chicken sandwich for a chicken salad, for instance, that's going to be much better and it won't make you drowsy by three o'clock. Equally, when you're eating through the day, if you're going to snack, snack on something healthy like an apple or carrots. Um, equally, you can get some really good snacks that are pre-prepared for you. And don't forget to watch through to the end of this vlog to get your code to receive your free healthy snack box. So tip two is of trying to get in a workout during lunchtime. So I know a lot of people only get an hour for lunch and it's quite hard to get to the gym and get back. But later on you know, during this campaign, you're going to get some tips for how you can squeeze your workout into a lunch period. Most gyms offer a 30 minute class and if you can get there and back in that time, brilliant. High impact um, cardio will be really good to get your blood pumping and keep you awake for the rest of the day. Equally, if you can't do that, why not bring your trainers into work and go for a brisk walk or a jog if, if you can do that. And again, when we come on to the further into the campaign, we'll give you some advice on how to keep clean and fresh towards the end of the day. So tip three is to alternate between standing and sitting. So everybody gets, starts to get tired during the day, especially if you sat down for long periods of time. A really good tip is to get up every 30 minutes for a water break. Just walk to the water machine, if you don't have one of those, go out and make yourself a, a tea or coffee. Ideally, you want to keep a bottle of water with you um, the whole time. Uh, drink at least 500 mils of sort of every three to four hours. And that, that way you'll keep yourself hydrated and you feel a lot better. If you do get up between, as I said before, alternate between sitting and standing, it, it just corrects your posture as well. If you're sat for too long, you start to slouch, which again makes you feel tired. So we're going to give you three exercises now that you can do at the comfort of your own desk. These are designed so that they don't look like you're actually doing exercise, but trust me, you will feel the benefits of them. So all of these exercises have been designed that you can do them with minimal stability. So you can either do it as a, like a beginner's exercise or you can do them in a more advanced way. These are going to help with your core. They're going to help you with your posture. So this also complements getting up every 30 minutes. Okay, so the first exercise is a Russian twist. You can do this while you're sat at your desk, you can keep your legs under the desk, and it's actually one that you can do with minimal embarrassment because people aren't really going to be able to see what you're doing. The first thing you need to do is lift your legs, keep them straight, and lift them up into the air. So you've got them placed under the table again, no one can see them. As you're doing this, it automatically engages the bottom of your core, so your abs, your lower abs are going to be engaged. Then you need to suck in your stomach as if you're pushing it back to your spine. Once you've got that, you start to do an exaggerated twist to the right. So as your body turns around, you can feel it down on your left side. And then as you move to the right, again, you can feel it go through your right side. So just alternate between them, five, and ten, five to 10 repetitions on each side. So the second exercise is knee tucks. A lot of these are done in the gym and you tend to do them perched on the edge of a bench. You can do it on the edge of your chair. So if you move right to the very edge of your chair, you're not gonna be able to do this under your desk because you're probably gonna kick all your cables. So if you move back away from the desk, make sure you've got your chair firmly on the floor. Raise your legs so they're off, off the ground, so as high as you can get them, depends on how you're feeling, and your body will naturally lean back. As you're doing this, you keep your arms on the side of your chair if you want that extra stability. To make it harder, put them across your chest. As you do that, you just raise your knees up, hold it into position, and then pull your knees back down. If you repeat this five to ten times, again, if you're doing this every day, you're going to feel the benefit, and you will feel it right through your core, from the bottom of your abs to the very top. The third exercise is ab vacuum. So, the best way to describe this is it's very similar to a pelvic floor exercise that's given to females that have just given birth. So the way, what you're looking at this is trying to get your whole of your stomach to create a vacuum. So when you're sat down, you can do this standing up, but again, the whole idea is you can do it at your desk. When you're sat down, you try and suck in your stomach as hard as you can so that you're literally trying to push your belly button back through to your pelvis. As you do this, suck in for say 10 seconds and then relax make sure you're fully relaxed and then as you do it again you suck the whole of your stomach in again and you will really feel the whole of your stomach tightening. 